movie is based on a theater play, I went to see it because it was made by a friend of mine, Johan, who wrote it, directed it, and starred in it. And um, it just blew me away with this incredibly beautiful love story that starts out really small and becomes huge. And then I thought, okay, how, how cool would this be to actually have a Belgian movie with bluegrass music? And that was also a push for me to to dive into this world. It was not a world that I knew, but um, sometimes it's fun to, to explore worlds that you don't know as a director. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? Casting is sort of like falling in love, I think. It's, it's, it just happens. Johan is DJ. Um, I never doubted about that. He had made this character up for the stage play. He is his character in a way. He is incredible. When I saw Vila, what she did was really level up the character of Elise to Johan's character. Uh, I knew immediately that she had to do it. What I did do is develop some very small things in the theater play and made a storyline of it in the movie. For instance, the tattoos. Um, so at some point, Elise's character said that she had a couple of tattoos and that they were actually covering up tattoos of names of her ex-boyfriends. And I really thought that that was beautiful. So what we did during the writing of the screenplay is develop that, make it more important. And it really becomes part of her character and part of the storytelling. All the actors did their own singing. We would always listen to the songs when we did readings with the actors too, to feel the arc of the of those songs working in the in the movie as a whole. The music is more than a character, I think. It's this music is, is everything about this movie. I am on my way to those mansions where over in the glory we had a screenplay which worked on paper, but when we came into the editing room and saw the first cut of the movie, we realized it wasn't working. We started rebuilding the story from the material from this, from the actual scenes. And it even incited us to go further. It was at some point we were like, how far can you go in making these strange broken circles in the editing where it will become this emotional roller coaster that we had always wanted it to be. It was a bit emotionally draining to shoot this movie. First day, first shot, first take, I start crying. <laughs> so you know, like, this is gonna be tough, but this is the, this is what, what we chose to do, and it's it's so beautiful and it's worth telling. So we'll we'll just go for it. I think that this movie reflects somehow an ambiguous feeling that we have, that a lot of Europeans have, but America, it has influenced us so much because of pop culture. And it's used as a, as a metaphor to show that he is a dreamer and, and idolizes everything. But you know, reality catches up with him and his dream falls apart. This movie is about, it's about a lot of things, but I guess the core is that the two main characters realize that you cannot share grief. Two pain and 